Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a 3D cube out of video footage that you can move around and rotate around in 3D space. Maybe you want to have it drop down and roll across the ground or something like that. So we're going to learn how to make that. I want to remind you that my name is Buddy Blackford and you're watching the new Boston. So this project is going to kind of be like a compilation of the last few tutorials that I did about 3D space where we're going to use our camera tools, our different views, moving around in 3D space and all that jazz. So I figured that this would be a good way to create so use your uh, to re use your new knowledge to create something that you might want to use in a project for a client. So we might as well get started now. I'm going to bring in one of the videos that I have and I'm going to make it a 3D layer. Actually Actually, first off, I'm not going to make it a 3D layer because my video isn't completely square. First, I'm going to scale it down a little bit. Now, I mean, this used to be my old company that I had um, as a freelance. So what we did is we took uh, four of us because each of us alone had a hard time getting freelance work by ourselves so we were just starting out out in California and we needed a way to get into the industry and make a name for ourselves freelancing because when you freelance you make a lot of money but you don't always have consistent work so we created a collective where it was four of us and we said we could do everything. We had an audio guy, uh, motion graphics guy, um, a 3D guy, and uh, another guy that wasn't very helpful at all. <laughs> but he was there to help pick up some other, help out with like menial tasks and things like that. So let's uh, just start out um, enough of my little story there. Let's create use the rectangle tool here so we can create equal sides on our video here so drag hold shift and you'll get your uh, rectangle tool and we're creating a mask there let's move our mask to where we want it which is preferably probably in the center here oh, oh damn I clicked off everything again hate when that happens. I'm just going to click on this and it's going to have everything there. So that's good enough. So there we have our base right there. We're going to use this layer here by duplicating it a few times and just arranging it in 3D views. So I'm going to come here to my four views. I have my active camera here, which I'll have zoomed out like that. Right, which I'm going to change to my custom view. And where is everything on that? If I click on here, oh, there's the custom view. And I can't see anything right now because I haven't made it a 3D layer yet. So let's do that. And now we can see everything. Now you can see that it's right here and right here in the top view. So I'm going to zoom out of each of my views so I can see what's going on. I mean, besides the custom view, I don't need to zoom out of that. I'm going to duplicate this layer by holding Control and pressing D. And I'm going to go into the top view, move it down a little bit, and I'm going to have to rotate this with the orientation here. And I think it's this one right here to 270. Yep. 
I'm going to zoom in here and I got to get this on perfectly into the corner so I can make a square. I'm zooming in here. And we're going to do this for each side. I'm going to click on my position. There we go. And then move the x axis. Oop, a little too far. It's going so fast for some reason. There we go. Now it looks like it's right on. They're right on each other. Now I want to go into my custom view here and switch to my unified camera tool. And I can zoom around and then zoom in to make sure they're connected. And it looks like they are. So we're good there. Now the good thing about video footage is it's on both sides. So we don't have to worry about um, flipping our layers or anything like that which makes it a lot easier. Now let's switch back to our selection tool by pressing V, that's the hotkey. Let's click on this layer and duplicate it. And we're going to move that layer now over to the other side. Now just move on the X axis because we already have everything else set up correctly. Zoom in. Now move it using the uh, position. click off our uh, mask there because we don't really need to see it anymore and when you when you click on it one of these things uh, down here it does it for the view that you're in we can see the mask in the other in the other layers or in the other views that looks good we're just gonna make a square so I mean we're gonna take this layer and duplicate it and just come down. 